and we are live. It is 1.04 Eastern Time in Montreal. Heather Boyd, Wire here, Wire Lady TV, every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And there's Mimi in the kitchen. I just saw her walk by. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, so I'm going to pull up the video on the computer. And... If you guys are hopping on, tell me where you are. I'm just going to look at the comments. Excellent. And today we're going to do some more names because I've had a lot of requests for names and um, some I haven't got around to for a while. So I'm going to do some names. And this is the most recent one. This is Donna. And that was for a hair clip. Hey, Mustafa, how are you? Good to, good to see you. Hey, Catherine. Nice to see you. So this was a hairpin and it goes in and out like that. So that's really cute. There's Ginger and Neil's here. Hey Neil, did you figure out your wire? Let me know in the chat. And Lisbeth, hello, hello. And Peggy, everybody's hopping on. Awesome. So yeah, I had some um, name requests. So I made a little list of names that I want to do. Uh, you're good. How am I? I'm good. Clarice. Hey Clarice, how are you? And Tonio, Tonino, and yes, planning on faux gold. Okay, so I wasn't sure what the faux gold was. If you guys are wondering what we're talking about, Neil was making an order for wire, a uh, pair of wire, and she was wondering which gold color was the best because the trouble is when you order gold wire, sometimes it's hard to tell by the photo how good it is. Uh, can I request tie dye? Is that for a name? I will write, write on the list. I don't know I have a chance to do it this time, but um, uh, let me know what, what, what that was for, if that's for just like a name pin or something. Yes. Uh, cool. Was that for something specific? Like, like, would you put like a capital T on that? I'll have to write that down and see. Yeah, so I'm keeping like a little list of names. And then, of course, you can have a look also. I have some tutorials that are... Um, lowercase and uppercase uh, letters as well. So you're working on a dream catcher. Aha, yes, we actually had some issues about dream catchers in the Facebook group because, um, just because a lot of the traditional um, dream catchers are sacred items, uh, it's very different here in Canada. There's, uh, um, there's a big history behind dream catchers. So we kind of made a little policy in the group that we're sharing like sun catchers, that non-traditional kind of dream catchers. So, um, yeah, it's funny. Everybody has different opinions about what's sort of acceptable and not. So, so that's that situation. So it's a nickname. Cool. Nice. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to flip around my screen. I'm just finding my tools. So we have some tools on the table. I'm going to flip my screen. And is it going to work? Uh, yes, there we go. So flip the screen. Here's my tools. A lot of you ask me where I get my tools. And unfortunately, a lot of these tools, I don't think you can buy anymore. The only ones I know you can still buy are these ones. Because these ones are from a place called John Bead in Toronto. It's a wholesaler. The trouble with John Bead is you have to order for $300. Because they are a wholesaler. Now these other pliers... These ones I bought at a surplus store like 30 years ago, and they're wonderful pliers. There's, they're like bigger round pliers. And then these are the smaller round pliers that are really great too, but those were from a hardware store that went out of business. So uh, that's unfortunate. So Asha, H, Asha's here today, or Aisha. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting how to pronounce your name. And... Um, there's the cutters. So these are great. These are flush cutters. And then I have some names here. Uh, one that I wanted to try for sure was like Elsa in the heart because I thought that would be super cute to do. And that one could be cool as a hairpin as well. So maybe I'll do that as a larger size for a hairpin. And then we can uh, go from there. So I just want to make sure I have some good wire. I have this one. This is gold. So, Neil, you know, we're going to be working with gold today. Unfortunately, these aren't necessarily wires you can buy because these are from Michael's. And I don't think, uh, I'm not sure that Michael ships internationally either. So, hey, Wendy, how are you? Nearly missed making face masks. Oh, cool. So you're sewing, Wendy. That's really interesting. The red ones I think you can get from Fishing Supply based on previous, well, yeah, I know some people had said that they are available 
from fishing supplies, but when I looked them up, I couldn't find them. But that actually might have been the original purpose of these tools because they were from a hardware store. So that's highly possible that they are for fishing. I just haven't been able to find the same ones sewing. That's awesome. So let's go ahead, and this is the 16 gauge from Michaels. I'm not sure how long my voice is going to hold out. I have a little bit of a, um, I don't know if you guys get cankers, but they're extremely painful and hard to talk sometimes. So I am going to do my best uh, with that. And I'm actually trying to find a solution from that, uh, for that. Somebody told me to rinse, uh, rinse with um, hydrogen peroxide and water. So that's what I'm working on now. Glad for the distraction. Awesome. So let's cut a nice piece of the gold wire. I just have to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this because if we do a heart, let me just do a little drawing first because what you need to do is you have to, um, actually, you know, maybe, maybe Wendy, I think last time you suggested do those circles, eh? Maybe we could do something like that. That actually might work really well for the stick and the, yeah, let's try it that way. I think that's going to be good. So we can either like finish it down here or and do these to stick the stick through or we could do something else where we looks good cool my grandmother is sewing masks yes yeah it's a great idea it really is so the other thing that I could try to do is do something more fancy I don't want to make it too decorative either but that might be interesting like that and do like the name here I'm just really trying to troubleshoot right now because the other thing that might be interesting is you do the heart and then this part, the lettering can be with the stick, but then I don't know if that's going to work. It might. That might be interesting too. I'm going to try a few things. <laughs> yeah, trying to... Trying to um, you said you like that one. So is that the one with the spirals that you like? Because I think that's kind of interesting. I kind of like to make it look a little more fancy. But we can try this and see how it's going to go. Yes, awesome. Okay, so let's do those. And I'm just trying to think in terms of the stick. Because I could maybe do a little... I'm, I think I'm going to try both ways. Because we can't really do two... Can we do two holes? We might be able to do two holes. Okay, so let me just try that so I'm gonna get my uh, wire and we'll just start at the bottom of the heart we'll go like this and I want to make it a decent size if I'm going to get the name in there in fact what I might want to do first is to create the name and now if I do the name with the stick it's going to have to be quite thick right so let's just otherwise the stick is going to be too flimsy so let's try it with a big this big piece here. I'm almost tempted to not even cut it off the spool, but the spool's almost done. So why don't I just use the rest of the spool? It's gonna be way too long, but at least I won't waste wire. So there we go. So Chris says, where is the best place to get the most bang for my buck for wire? I'm on a fixed income. I have learned so much from you, Heather. Oh, thank you. Awesome. I'm so happy. So Chris, um, I guess it depends on where you live. I buy some of my wire at Michael's and Michael's often has 40% off coupons. So I do find I get a decent amount of wire there. And the other place you can try is Etsy. Etsy, you can actually shop uh, by location and you can shop by uh, for shops that have free shipping so you could definitely try that and also hardware stores you can definitely try some hardware stores even dollar stores sometimes have wire and um, it's every now and then you might even find some you know stock at a surplus store or uh, secondhand stores bazaars unfortunately there's not a lot of garage sales and things going on now but a lot of things can be found at uh, at, at hardware stores as well so um okay so let me just start with the let's start with the name and I'm going to leave a little bit of um on either side for the name this might be a little awkward just because it is um a big piece of wire so let's just go ahead and start with the name and I'm not going to do it too big 
So we're just going to go ahead and do the name. There we go. Pamular is here. Awesome. So Pamular, your name is actually on my list. So I hope I'm going to get to it because I think at one point you'd ask for your name with a, a crown. So I'm going to see what I can do. And Mustafa says you're always an inspiration. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. And thank you for always your lovely comments on my videos, uh, Mustafa. I really appreciate that. Uh, okay, what am I doing here? Oh, I think I did this already the wrong way. Oh, goodness. Okay, so let me just backpedal here. I, it's, I'm multitasking, but I did, I bent this the wrong way, I think. Uh, yeah, let me start again. Okay, sorry, guys. Okay, focus. I'm going to focus. <laughs> I'm not going to... Parawire. Yeah, I know Neil was ordering from Parawire. So, Neil, maybe you can give some feedback on that if you've ever ordered from them before. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do this way. So this... Okay, we're going to go here. We're going to do the E. I might miss a few comments just while I get started. So there we go. So we're going to do the E. I don't want to do it too big. And this is a real experiment, doing the stick as the uh, the name, or the, the name as the stick, I guess you would say. So we'll see how it goes. We'll just see if it's a good idea. And I mean, it's never lost because you always learn in the process, right? So there we go. So we're gonna go around here, bring this here, and make the name Elsa. So I'll have to look back and see uh, Sometimes I make a note of who, like who commented where on what video. So I'll go back to the video that Elsa commented on and let her know that I've done her name because sometimes I lose track of who asked when. So I did take note of that. I think it was on the Debbie video or one of those videos that she had commented. So, so there's E-L and then we're going to do the S. So we're going to come around here and do the S. Make sure that's more or less lined up. Okay. And then to go back on the S, it's just like the cursive S. We're going to bring this down. This wire is quite stiff. This is the 16 gauge wire from Michaels. And I discovered this wire because I do wedding cake toppers out of uh, silver and gold wire. And the gold wire I had originally bought in Spain, in Barcelona, many, many years ago. And then I ran out and then I ordered some more, but I was they don't ship to Canada. So I had to pick it up when I was in Italy about five years ago. And now I've run out of that wire. So I haven't been able to find any since. And I was saying to Neil that I've ordered gold wire online many times and often been disappointed because it never comes out to be the right color gold that you like or that you need. And so I ended up finding this gold wire at Michael's of all places. And I was able to buy it with the 40% off coupon. So it was a really good deal and it's a perfect color, it, and it's nice and solid. It's actually even more solid than the gold I was originally using, which was an aluminum, an anodized aluminum wire, but this one's more like a brass wire, so it's very, very strong. I wish it was as easy as you make it look, oh, thanks. And there's Rain, thank you, Chris. Okay, yes, so Rain, how are you? Nice to see you, Debbie's here, awesome. The Debbie video, yes, that was your name, Debbie. <laughs> The, the infamous De Debbie video. So Debbie, that video, I don't know what happened to it, but it it, um, it must have been shared on the homepage of uh, YouTube because it has a lot of views on that video. So I appreciate that inspiration for that one. Um, he says, I love New Mexico. Santa Fe is one of my favorite places. I have never been to New Mexico or Santa Fe. And Galen said, hey, how are you? It's been a long time. Rain says, hi, Heather. I'm glad to catch up to you today. Canker sores are bad. Yeah, yeah, they're really, um, they're not fun. And it's genetic, like everybody in my family gets them, which is very, very unfortunate. My nephew, who's a nurse, uh, I was talking to him last night, and he recommended the hydrogen peroxide with water. So I'm trying that. And so here's Elsa. And uh, so let's let's just put this on hold for now. And we've got, now we want to do the heart. So now we know that it's going to be more or less the right size. 
Okay. And so say we do decide to put like a little loop in here, like that was Wendy's idea last week. Was it last week that we did those, uh, the hairpin name? I think it was. And so Wendy suggested we do a loop to stick the wire through. So I thought that was a brilliant idea. We did that with the music note. Uh, Clarice says, I'm in love with my name. Awesome. That's And Clarice, remember I did your name twice because the first time I made it, I wasn't happy with the way I went from the C to the L. And then the second time it worked out better. So sometimes, you know, things don't always work out as planned the first time. And so you just keep trying until you get it right. So let's just go ahead and try to do these loops in here. So this is going to put, this is going to be to put the, the name through. This is a real experiment, guys. Wow, you're on the ground floor of this design because I did not expect I would be doing it this way. So this is cool. So there's the beginning parts of the heart. And so now we're going to get the ring cone. This is my favorite ring cone. It's just a, a wooden cone. And you can buy these on Amazon, I think. And um, for and you don't have the size of the rings written, but it's great to make a spirals and um, cones and rings. Uh, take some L-lysine in the vitamin aisle. Oh, okay. I will. I'm going to actually write that down right now because I've heard of that and I didn't know what it was from. So that's perfect because I bought some other stuff yesterday. And then apparently it's like, it's called oral wound cleanser and apparently it's toxic. So I'm actually going to return that to the store today. I have no qualms about returning products to stores when they, um, when I'm not happy with them or if the, even if I've opened the package and used it, uh, if it's something that's either like toxic or just not a good quality, I have no qualms about returning it. So uh, I'm going to do that today. So these spirals aren't going to be as big as I thought because I don't have as much wire as I thought because uh, I didn't cut it long enough, but this will give you an idea. So if we just start like that, so these two are the same size, and then we're going to keeping your teeth clean, brushing and rinsing. Yes, that's a, that's a no-brainer. I definitely do that often. So that's, uh, yeah, that's true. Gin Drink tea with ginger. Yet yeah, ginger is supposed to have very good um, uh, uh, antiseptic qualities too. So that's actually good advice. And I have some ginger in my fridge. So I'm going to do that. Uh, dispose of lipsticks in toxic proof containers in stores. Did you know they have to? Okay, interesting. Huh. Cool. Oh, so Chris, I'm just going to show your comment because um i don't know why facebook sometimes blocks comments i'm not quite sure why but he's inviting us all to go to new mexico for a fiesta yes i don't know why facebook would block that comment but anyways i'm game sure when all this is over who knows when that's going to be but I, i'm definitely not traveling this year but we were hoping to go to new york city and i would love to see you there clarice but that's not going to happen until maybe 2021 or so so okay so now if you, i've done the beginning normally i would have made these spirals bigger but because i ran out of wire i'm just going to do it like this so what i usually do is start the cone of the spiral and then i take my round pliers and I bring it in. And actually on this week's Tip Tuesday video, I showed how to do these kind of spirals using the cone and your round pliers. So the Tip Tuesday video this week was how to um, use your round pliers. So that was interesting. And there's a few really fun things you can do with it, including making little uh, end caps for, for leather to make your own findings. So there's a lot you can do with these round pliers. And Mustafa, you were saying you don't have round pliers, which really sucks because they're so handy. So we have to get you some round pliers for your birthday in August. So we'll figure out how to hopefully, either you can find some or I don't think I'm allowed to ship there yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look out for some anyways to see what we can do. So I'm in love with bale making pliers. So is that what you call the round ones? Bale making pliers. Chris says, I'm a female. Sorry about that. You're a female there. I had no idea. So that's good. That's good. You should tell me because I cannot see you guys. And uh, it's very, very good to correct me. So there we go. There's the heart. Now I'm worried it's going to be not wide enough. So now I'm going to make this. This is not going to be as, you know, decorative as I thought it would be. So we're just going to 
go down here and I'm just stretching it out as much as I can. I really would have liked this to be more, a little more decorative, but that's okay. But what I really have to do is make these wider so it'll resemble more as a heart. So this will give you an idea anyways. If you have to bring these in a little bit, you can. You can definitely bring that in like this. Perfect. And fix this up a little bit. There we go, yeah. So if I'd cut the wire bigger, uh, longer, it would have worked much better. So this is the idea. So the idea would be to have the heart and then that would go through the heart. This is quite cute. And so what we want to do on this side is we can just make a little loop or a, you could make another spiral here too. It might be overkill, but let's let's go for it. Let's just do another spiral here and I'll show you what I mean about making a bigger spiral. So if we bend this here and then we take this one and we do go around a few times. See, if we go around a few times, it's going to be much better. So say go around three times. Around here. And there, love, Mandy Lou. Okay, so that's uh, Amanda's here. And how cute. It's coming along, eh? Less is more. Yeah, less can be more too. So we'll see. If this might be too much, but just to show you how to do the more the bigger spiral so so if I've gone around three times you'll see that the spiral will be more um, ornate a little more spirally so then we're going to bring this in this wire is quite stiff it's the uh, 16 gauge and it's pretty it's pretty he heavy duty so there you'll see it makes a much bigger spiral than that because I had more wire so there we go. It, she makes everything so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Debbie. You, you make some gorgeous stuff yourself. So uh, you're very prolific, too. You make a lot of stuff. So there we go. So Elsa, and then that would go through there. Now, the thing is, if you are doing a scarf pin or a hair pin, you need this to be a little more curved because otherwise you're, it's going to be too flat. You're not going to be able to fit much in there. So let me just get my curved thing. So I use these pill bottles and my little hack is I just stack them up in here. So I have all different sizes. It's like a little babushka doll. So I have all my little sizes of pill bottles and we'll just move these ones to the side. And then what I'm going to do is I want to make this a little bit curved. So what you're going to have to do is hold it on here and then just curve it around as much as you can. Trouble is now we have these little things, these little loops sticking out. So that makes it a little bit more problematic. But what we can do is just, add, oh, see, this is cracking now too. I have to be careful. So maybe if I flip it and do it towards the bottom, it's not gonna crack. So we're gonna start like forming this around here. There we go, we're just gonna form it. Actually, maybe I wonder if I put this, yeah, this is gonna work. So if I put this loop below the end, then I can just turn it. Pill bottles are super awesome. Yeah, I love I love my little stack of pill bottles. It's really yeah, very very handy. So pretty. I like doing the spirals from large to small. Yes, yeah. The hack is great. I, I find especially with the aluminum wire. Um, this is an aluminum, but when I use aluminum wire, it tends to like bend and and like make little sharp bends and stuff. So I find if you use the ring cone to make your spirals, especially for the aluminum, it works really well. So see, now this is getting nicely curved around and you can play around with it as much as you want. If you want these to stick together too, you might want to put like a little bit of a loop of um, gold wire, like thinner gold wire on there. I think all I have, I think I used up my 20 gauge, but I have some 18 gauge wire. So let me grab a little piece of the 18 gauge and just twist that around a little bit. So this actually might be way too thick because it is it's it is a little stiff, but I think it would be good to do like a little bit of a twist here to hold it in place. So I keep my pill bottles now and put my beads in it. Yes, awesome, fantastic idea to put your beads in there too. Yeah, that's really great. Yeah, they're very, very handy. So there we go. So we're gonna go in here. This one's a little stiff, like I said, but 20, if you had 20 gauge wire, it would work just to hold the two sides of the, of the heart together, to hold it together in one piece. So let me just see how this goes. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna switch for 24 gauge wire, even though 24 is going to be too, um, 
it's going to be uh, too thin, I think, to hold it in place, but let's just try with the 18. And then, yeah, like I said, if it really doesn't work, I can try with the, with the 24. So it seems not too bad. So we're gonna bring this down in here, okay? And then take this one. I probably should have cut it a little bit bigger maybe. There we go. So yeah, so that, that just gives it a little bit of a kind of a more decorative uh, accent and also holds those ends together. Otherwise they're gonna come apart. So let me go ahead and cut one side. Okay, we'll cut that one side here. And then cut the other side. This is going to be at the back. So, whoa, I don't know where that went. Flew across my living room. So there we go. So now we're going to just pinch that to the back. So that's discreet. That's now at the back. So that's good. Now, the magic moment to see if it's actually going to work, because the idea is to put the, that Elsa in there. And then this one, you don't want it too long, right? You don't want it sticking out too much. So we'll go ahead and... Cut this one, say about like that. We can always trim it more after. And then if you have a file, you can actually file that in. So I used to have a file nearby, yeah. So here's a file, very thin file. So what you would do if the end is sharp, you would just like file it down a little bit. So that would be good. Perfect, so. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for that. I mean, you could be my PR person. That's awesome. Cool. Linda's here. Hey, Linda, how are you? You've been making such beautiful things with your sun catchers on, on Facebook. That's awesome. Uh, Debbie says use 12 gauge wire. So what was the 12 gauge wire for? Uh, the thick hair. Okay, yeah. This is 16 gauge, so 12 is probably pretty thick, but maybe even 14. I guess it just depends on your wire. Yeah, you could try 12. It's, uh, I don't know that I have any 12, so I, I can't really advise you on that, but you can definitely uh, compare wires and see. This one's pretty stiff, and I think once it's in your hair, it's it wouldn't be too bad. Of course, you gotta you have to worry about it getting tangled up and stuff. So what I'm doing now is I'm also curving the Elsa a little bit. You can put it on your pill bottle to curve it around a little bit, and there we go. How do you bend 12 gauge wire? Well, that's it. It might be pretty pretty stiff, depending on the type of wire. Sometimes it depends on the type. And there's Maya, how are you? Good, so this is the question, how do we get in there? And this is the problem because, yeah, I, I my, my engineering brain didn't think about this because of course you can't get it through that hole. So that's that was just dumb. But um, what we'll have to do is not do one on that side. That's the thing. Oh, I didn't think that ahead in advance. Of course you can't string it through there. But you can just put it through here. Uh, how are we going to do that? And then, no, this is not going to work. Let me just think. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, wow. This is, this is where you get completely messed up and realize it's not working. So what I'm going to have to do is maybe get a cloth or something to put in here. I'll just put get a piece of... I'll just get a piece of um, toilet paper for now. So say this goes here, and then what we're going to do, and then this, like this for sure can go here, but it has to go under there. Yeah, this is not making sense, guys, whatsoever. Uh, da, 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 da. We'd have to put this and something underneath. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to work with the... Thing here we're gonna have to put something else underneath make me let me make a plain stick uh, da, 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 da. more wire attach the name to it yeah that's what we're gonna have to do the name is gonna be have to be attached to the heart because that was one of these brilliant ideas that made absolutely no sense whatsoever so let me just try to do a regular stick now we'll go back to square one okay and we'll go from there you made like a hinge. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, like a hinge. But the thing is, this, you have to have something on top and something underneath. So, 
I don't know if we do two wire, maybe two wires. Yeah, actually that might be an idea if you had two wires. I wonder if we could backtrack. Let's try to backpedal with this and if it doesn't work, I'll do a separate wire. So let's backpedal with this and see what we can do about that. So my engineer dad would be ashamed of me right now. <laughs> I did not think that out whatsoever. It's all good. It's all good. That's how we that's how we figure things out, eh? Is when we make mistakes and uh they call them fails, eh? Like like nothing's a fail anymore. It's just a learning experience. So that's that's how you learn things and it's all good. It's all good and fun. So let's open this up. I'm making a bunch of earring shapes, says Peggy. Cool. Unwind the spiral and put it in the hole. Yeah. So we're gonna we definitely are unwinding the spiral right now. And cut the heart in the corner. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I want to cut it, but let's just see what we can do. Make a straight and put it from left to right. So I think that what we have to do, yeah, is this like if we have this here. And then we put it, and then that back through there maybe. Let's try this. Let's try this and see what it's going to do. Okay, so bring that in and around. So if we put that one through here and this one here, say like that, that might work. And then like that could go through here type of thing. Hmm. I'm just trying to think if we like if we go like if we yeah if we put that through like that but then this you would also want to do some kind of hook thing okay I'm gonna try this I'm gonna just remove this and bring this down okay bring this down a little bit and then make a loop out of this see if that's gonna work hopefully it's long enough if we're gonna go around here just making a little loop at the side here. So we're going to see, make it like a safety pin. Yeah. So it's going to, we're going to have to make some kind of like little clasp thing here. So we're going to bring that down a little bit. Okay. So if we've made like a little loop on that side, what if we just take this and say that goes in here. This is going to be way too long, but that's okay. So if we put this one here and then that one here, but I might just adjust this one a little bit too as well. I don't know if we need, let me just bring it over this way a bit here. I could probably ask my husband, Mark, who's right there in the kitchen, but <laughs> no, it's, I, I won't put him on screen. He's very good at like kind of these kind of mechanical things too. He, he makes little wire bicycles, which are really cool. So if we have like this and then we'd have to take this and bring it in there, but we might have to like stretch that out and bring it in again. So let's just try it. I wish you could come to Montreal and meet you. Well, maybe one day. You never know. You never know. Um, so let's just, uh, da, 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 if we do this, I'm just trying to think if I want to do anything more here, but I think I want to keep it simple. So let me just go ahead and cut this. Not too short, not too long. If we cut this here. And if we, I'm just trying to think, like, I think we're still going to curve this a little. I'm going to remove it just for a sec. Okay, I'm going to remove this, bring this to the front. And so let's get our Kleenex again. I'm going to get a little bit more here. And his bikes are incredible. Yeah, it's they're pretty amazing. Eh? Mark's been making those bikes for about 40 years almost. Like when I met him, he'd already been making them for almost maybe not 10 years so maybe 35 years so here if we put like this pretend it's hair or a scarf or something so say we put this pin in the back and then behind all this lovely kleenex toilet paper and then we're going to bring it back through that hole okay so at then we have the elsa here and then what we have to do is, because it's a little bit flexible, we're just going to pull this a bit, but that's, I don't want to pull it. I'm going to trim this a little bit more, just a little bit at a time. And then we're going to bring this out. Oh, it's 
not too bad. It's not amazing because it kind of flips a little bit, but it's not too bad. Okay, so let's just see. I tried making this thing last night. I got mad and threw it across the room. Oh, no. Yeah, that can happen, too. Start in diapers. Uh, may a hook like a brooch, Karen. Okay, I'm not quite sure. Like a hook. Yeah, If we, I guess if we did like more like a hook thing rather than the hole, that might work better. Yeah, let's try that. We could do that. So let me just pull this. So if we go like that, that one goes like that. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. So if we make this more into a hook and not an, a closed circle, then you're going to have a little bit more flexibility with getting it through. So I'll just open it up a little bit for now. So say, for example, yeah, and then it won't get so distorted, right? Because that one got a little bit distorted. So let's try it like that. Make a little hook, like Karen said. So we're going to put this one in here. And then we're going to put that one there. And then, yes, then you can hook it on. So yay, guys. It's not too bad. Whew. I, that's, it kind of works. And then if you don't want to do it that way, you can always do the heart, write the name with even a thinner wire, and then just put the loop through the back. So we could definitely do that as well. I think there's two possibilities, but this one's fun, and then the other one would be fun too. So that's not too bad. So now what I want to do, take a sip of water, and where's my list? So here's my list of names that I have. Elsa's done, and I wanted to do, Pamular had asked for a her name with a crown. So let's have a look at that. So Esperanza says, love your work. Thank you. That's so awesome. I appreciate the, the comments. So let's do Premular and let's get the, this wire is good. This is artistic uh, copper wire. It's a uh, brass, non-tarnished brass. And it's nice because it's not too thick and it is very strong, much stronger than the coppers. So I'm going to cut a good long piece of that. And we will do... Uh, Pamular's name. So I'm just going to pull up my other sheet here and we'll start, we'll just start with the name and then I'll try to figure out the crown at the end. Ashley had another request. I think Larray had asked also for a crown. So I might do two versions of the crown. So Galen would be too long for a hair clip. But what you could do, Galen, is make the heart or another shape with the pin and then do the pin the heart and the pin two separate wires and then for your name write it with a thinner gauge across there that would totally work you could write it with 20 gauge and it would totally work so when you have to go oh bye Wendy we'll see you in the Facebook group no worries so let's go ahead and do Pamular so we need the P I just have to figure out how I want to start the P it uh, might be better to write it out first I'm just going to see. I think the P I'm going to keep pretty simple. Usually I just do like kind of a regular P. So we, But we have to figure out how we do the, the A like that. And then the P, I think we'll just keep it simple. So let's just do it that way. So we will just start here. Not too big. I won't do it too big. So if we do the P and we're going to go across here. Yeah, I don't want to do it too big because I don't want to run out of wire. And then I'll alternate with my big and my little pliers. We're going to bring this around here. We'll just start with the P. The P is pretty basic. It's almost just like a, a printed P. So there's the P. And we'll probably deal with the end after. But for now, we'll I'll just bring it straight up like that. So that's good. And then we're going to do the A. So we're going to go around here for the A. It's a little dark today because it's a gray day and it might rain. So the lighting isn't as great as always, but it's not too bad. So let's do the A. Okay. Perfect. Can you use industrial copper wire for jewelry? Well, I'd be careful with that because it might tarnish. 
Uh, I like to use the non-tarnish artistic copper wire, and I know the para wire is also non-tarnish or tarnish resistant. So I know some people use uh, more industrial copper wire, and they uh, can. Some people even like use a torch and change the color of it too. And there might be a coating that you can use as well. But I don't have a lot of experience with just regular copper wire. I just know it can tarnish. Okay, so PA, I don't want to make a mistake, so we're going to do the M now. Bring And for my M, everybody knows I think that I like to do like this, this little loop. And then I take my flat pliers and hold it and just pull it. And it just makes the little loop like really tiny. And then we're going to form the M. Just bring that around and bring this up and and if you need reference for the for the letters i do have two videos one is the lowercase letters and one is the uppercase letters so if you need some help with those and there probably are other tutor tutorials online uh, for the letters i'm not 100 percent sure but you can also look on google and print out calligraphy letters or even wire letters um, on google to give you an idea of style because pe different people have different styles to how they do the lettering so now we need the u so we're going to bring this down and around my end's quite long so i have to keep going out of the screen a little bit so there we go the U, perfect. And then of course at the end we have to figure out how to do the crowns. So we're gonna go down here. Hand lettering, modern calligraphy. Yes, calligraphy is fun. I remember in high school, we had a really amazing high school art teacher and she used to um, do a module on how to do calligraphy and it was really, really fun. Yeah, we did a lot of different things in high school. We did uh, embroidery, we did calligraphy, we did so many different things. And actually, that's when the Apple computer first came out, and uh, she even had us doing things on the computer. We had one computer in the classroom that we shared, and it printed out in the, uh, was it dot, ma dot matrix, they call it, with the when it prints in the X's and O's type of thing. Yeah, so that was a long time ago. That was uh, high school. I was you know, I graduated in 1984, so that was a while ago. Yeah, that was definitely a while ago. So now, A, we're going to do another A around here and down, and then the R. So we'll do the R, and it's really like more like a cursive R that we're going to be doing. So we're going to go down here, bring this up and bring this one down. And then I'm going to show you the ideas I had for the crown and we're going to see what's going to work for that because we'll put a crown at the end of her name and bring this around here. So there is Pamular, there we go, perfect, excellent. Pamular, let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. And there we go, perfect. And then I have these different ideas for the crowns. Um, I had this one with the little loops, this one with the little dots. I had one with the heart, and then I had that one there. So I don't know which one you like the best of those. So let me just, I have shown your videos to my sons and others and are amazed about what the ease you create. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet, Chris. Thank you. My sister could do that. I took shop class, not writing. Okay, shop. Yeah, we used to have shop class as well. So yeah, so I'm going to do one of these crowns. Um, I could always practice. You know what I could do? I can put this one, I'll put the name at the side and then... Let's practice, let's practice with the crowns first to see which one looks best. So I'll take a few pieces of wire just to practice. So one of the ideas I had was to do something like that. So let's see if that's going to work. Is there no audio? Audio, um, hmm. You should be able to hear the audio. You guys can hear me, can you? If not, let me know in the comments if you can't hear me. Okay, so let's try the, the crown. So I think what we do is usually we, you, I would go beyond where we would start the crown 
bring this up here. I can hear. You can hear fine. So maybe, uh, maybe Julie, it's on your computer. If you want to just check, there should be like a little thing on the video to mute and unmute. So you should be able to, you should be able to unmute it and see. Okay, so now we're going to just try the crown. So if we go here, I don't want to do it too big. This might or might not work. And if it doesn't work, I will try another one. That's why we're practicing because I'm not quite sure. And because it's so small, it's going to be a little bit tricky to do. Okay, so maybe if I use my flat pliers a little bit, and then we're going to bring this one up. Bring that one up here. And then bring this one. I'm not sure if this is going to work quite right, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring that one here. Yeah, because it's so small, I'm not sure if these loops are going to work too well. So let me just see here. It's looking a little bunchy, but we're going to check. So we're going to bring that one up. And I'm not sure this is looking much like a crown, but we're going to see. So I'm going to bring that. And in theory, you could even do something with beads as well. might be cute. So we'll go here. And then I'm going to bring these wires to the front, I think. So we'll go here. And then another one. We'll see. You guys can let me know. I'll do a few, and then we'll see which ones actually look like the crown. So if I did something like that, to me that doesn't really look like a crown. It looks a little bit, a little bit bunchy. And then you would, you know, I would just finish it here. So we're going to see how that goes. Click that. Keep losing connection. Mm. Oh no, that that's too bad. Is it if it, everybody else okay? Because it it could be on my hand. I'm not. I can't tell from my side if if it's my on my side or not. This does not look much like a crown. So let me just try something else. I think we're gonna have to do less spikes because it's so small. Okay, so there we go. And for example, guess I came in first in the city. Whoa, that's really cool, Mustafa. That's that's so cool. A trophy. I love that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try maybe this one here to see if this is going to work. So this is where the if the name is over here, and then we're gonna bring this one up here. And I'm going to try just to do a regular crown to see if that works. So we're just going to go up and down, up and down, and see if it looks like much like a crown. I don't know if it should, if these spikes should go higher as I go. Let me just see. I'll go up, because this is going to end up being really big. That's the only problem, because it's so tiny, the name, I don't know if this is going to work too well as a crown. I think I'm going to end up having to do three uh, points on the crown because look at how big that ends up being. That, and maybe we can tighten them up with the pliers. We can try. Just tighten them up a little bit. And you'll see how that goes. Okay, and then one more. But this almost looks more like a hand than a crown. So I'm not 100% convinced on that one either. So there we go. Julie got audio. Yes, that's awesome. So there we go here. And I wanted to let you guys know I'm working on some new ideas for another platform where like I follow this really cool uh, channel called Art Prof. And they do a lot of live streams. And what they do is after their live streams, they hop over to something called Discord. And then what you can do on Discord is you can actually share photos. Uh, so what I was thinking to do, the same thing they do, and actually after the live stream to go over and uh, we can, like say I do a live stream where I'm teaching one particular project, we can all afterwards go over to... Um, discord and share pictures of what we created so this is an idea i'm working on uh, if you're interested in something like that definitely let me know and then we could kind of build a community on 
Discord where we, after these live streams, we can go over and share pictures of what we're working on and stuff. So, so it's a really, really cool concept. I'm going to work on it and see, you know, if it, if it's going to work out and, uh, and we can try that. So, cause originally I thought of doing things on zoom, but zoom isn't that user friendly and it's really hard to share your screen on zoom. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So uh, yeah, so more exciting projects coming up and, uh, and I thought that would be really cool to do. So I'm in for Discord. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's try it. And if you, if you want to know what I'm talking about, if you like art and want to check out the, uh, the channel called Art Prof, they are amazing. I'm just so happy to be a part of that community. And uh, it's fun to be on the student end of things rather than the teacher end and, um, and really uh, be part of that community. So this is crown number two. I'm still not convinced because it looks a little bit like a hand. So let me see what else I can do. And if you guys have suggestions for the crown, it's very difficult because it's so small. So Rebecca, how are you? Oh my goodness, it's been a long time. I've seen you on Instagram, but not here. Welcome, welcome. I just joined Discord for my brother. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't super know how to use it too, but I'm going to get to know how to use it because I think it's a great platform. I really do think it's great. So now let's try this one to see how it goes. And there's also the heart one, but that just looks like a pile of hearts. It doesn't really look like a crown. So... Uh, art Croft. No, it's Art. Here, I can type it. Let me see if I, I'll type it in the chat. Art Prof. There we go. That's the name of the channel. And it's, yeah, it's a really cool channel. If you like art, it's amazing. I'm a total art nerd, so anything art makes me very, very happy. Okay, so let's try this one. I got not good connection. Yeah, I, the weather is really weird. So uh, maybe it could be weather, uh, depending on where you are. I'm not too sure. Okay, so let's try another idea for a crown. This might or might not work. And if this one doesn't work, then we'll try something super simple. So we're going to try. So this, you know how sometimes crowns have those little dots on them? Let's try something like that. So if we have one dot here, I actually made a really cool crown once. Uh, it was for a, they were having some kind of competition at a local college and they commissioned me to make some crowns with their logo on it. And they turned out really, really cool. And um, every time I drive by the college, I see their logo and I think of those crowns. And that was fun. They had some kind of gaming competition conference thing and then the uh, the prize was for the two prize winners was these crowns so that was really fun I, I've done all kinds of cool custom things like this oh I think I'm liking this crown this one's kind of cool my Instagram page is full of art photos yeah you do so many interesting things Mustafa I love all your quilling too I think your quilling stuff is really cool yeah, I love quilling. In fact, I'd love to do more quilling. I just find it's very time consuming. I have one video on my channel on how to make a quilled uh, pendant, which is really cool. So this is cute too. Now this is a very simple uh, crown. So remember what it looks like like this. And now I'm going to add a few more loops and you guys tell me what you think. I like this crown. That's what I'm thinking. I like this. I think three longer would be better. Yeah, I, th I think these are better than these because this just looks like a bit of a mess. So remember what it looks like simple like this and then I'm going to do a few loops and you tell me which one you prefer. Just because if I don't try it, I won't know, right? So now, because in the sketch I did some loops. So let's get rid of those two because I don't like those. And then I'm going to do a few loops. And you guys tell me if you like it better with the loops or without the loops. So let's go ahead and do some of these loops. This one's getting in the way. So we're going to go around. Whoa. Okay. Sometimes your pliers slip. So that can happen. So we're going to go here and then do a few little loops. You could even do beads if you wanted to do some beads. That would work. Okay. So we're going to go across here. I don't know how many loops we're going to be able to do maybe only four because I think we're going to run out of space and then we'll do another one 
This wire is quite stiff. It's the brass wire. Oh, there's the phone, but I'm going to just let that go for now. And so there, so there's with, that's with the loop. So if I did it like that, and then I brought this one down here, you guys can tell me in the chat if you preferred it plain or with the loops. And actually, Pamela should tell me, if, because it's her name, which one you prefer. If you like, oops, this one has to, I have to pull this one up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Pull this up a little bit more. Okay, to see. Okay, this got a little bent out of shape, but that's the idea. So, Pamela, do you like with the loops or without the loops? Nail polish the circles. That could be cute, too. Uh, da, 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 da. Rebecca likes plain, and Mustafa likes with the loops. So we and Rain likes plain. So Pamela, let me know which one you prefer, and we'll put a crown on your name. I'm gonna move this. I can start the crown. So let me. Ginger says plain. Moonstar says I have a canker sore. Yeah, ditto. Ouch. Oh my goodness. And Linda likes the loops, so I think we lost Pamular. You can let me know. Last time I did quilling, I was in elementary school. Yeah, yeah, no, it takes a lot of uh, manual dexterity, and if you have any amount of arthritis, that, uh, yeah, that could be tricky for sure. So now I'm going to just start the crown here. Okay, perfect. Oh, I'm going to have to let that go. That's my phone. Yeah, just uh, as my daughter's going to answer the phone. I'll be finished in about 10 minutes. Oh, there goes my answering machine. A telemarketer. I think I know who it is, but unfortunately, I'll, I'll, I'll just get back to them. I like your da 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 song, so I'm stealing it. What's a da 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 song? Without. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, so let's do this. So now we're going to start, do the one circle. Okay, uh, okay, could do the one circle here. Hopefully I'll get the proportions right again. And we're gonna bring this around here. Okay, and then bring that one down. I think that's good. And then we're going to bring this one. Wow, it's getting really dark out. Sorry, guys, if you're having trouble seeing my screen because I think we have a storm coming. So it's getting a little dark outside. So let's make this one a little higher. Okay, we'll do that one a little higher. Okay. Bring that around here. Or maybe I made it too high. Oh, well. These are all prototypes. So you guys can learn from my mistakes and make them make them better when you make them but it, this should be all right it's a little bit high but that's okay and then we're going to do the other one so we're going to bring this one up bring this one up here i like the crown though i think it's super cute okay and then bend this one and it could definitely be cool with beads too but i just find that you have to be careful adding beads because it's very small. So the beads might or might not work so well. So we're going to bring this one across here. Okay. And then bring that one down. Perfect. Okay. So that's not too bad. And maybe I'm just trying to see if I want it sticking out a little bit. Just let me see my picture. Yeah, maybe these should be kind of pushed out a little bit on an angle might be good hmm let's just see I think we want to or maybe even spread them out a bit yeah maybe we're gonna spread them I don't want it too narrow either so we're gonna bring that here I think that's good and then we'll just finish it off actually this one's maybe bent out a little bit could do that just bend it out a little bit might work yeah I think I like it bent out a little bit just a teeny bit. I'm missing all your comments now, but I will definitely come back and cute. That's very cute. So let's just bring this. So now what we would do, in fact, probably the best bet, I could have made that a little bit higher because 
you would probably put it, if you're going to hang it as a pendant, you would probably put a jump ring in there. So if I bring it, I'll try to bring it up a little bit higher. And we're going to bring this one here and we're going to finish this one here. Should be good. Okay. And then we're just cut it. Perfect. So, oh, canker sores are <laughs> stress related. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to definitely get some of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. No, I think that's great advice. Perfect. So there is the crown. And Pamular, so this, I'm finding my L is higher than the P, so I don't know if I can fix that, but I can try. I'm going to bring that up a little bit more because I found that the L is a little higher than the P, so let's just fix that one up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to bring that around. It's getting a little bent a bit, but it should be okay. And let me just bring that one across do our little last minute finishing up things. Yeah, so what I would do for this is you could put, if it's a pendant, you can put a jump ring here and a jump ring there. And then just to finish the P, I'm just trying to think of the best thing to do. What I probably should have done, and I hope this isn't gonna break, is bring this to the front, okay? Because if we bring it to the front, yeah, see, this is gonna snap, but just to see if it's going to work. We're gonna bring this around, okay? It's gonna be easier if we bend it to the front and then we could just pull it to the back and finish it off. So let's just bring that around. There we go. We'll just pull it to the back and then we could just clip it off. And then that way it's, uh, the end is hidden and the, art, the, hard, the sharp bit is going to be out of the way and we can just push it in there. So that should be good. So there, it's just finished off, so it's a closed circle, and then all you would have to do is like straighten it up a little bit. You could also make this into a pin. I'm gonna do a tutorial where I make this into a pin, uh, like with you put the pin along the back and then you just sharpen the end. Look out for that in the next week. I'm gonna do a, a tutorial about how to make name pins. And so there you go, Pamular with the crown. So that worked out. Oh, this is blurry now. Love it. Thank you. So guys, this is what we did today. We did two things. It took us an hour to make two things. It's all good. It's all good. So this is the, the, the hairpin or the scarf pin with the name. And like I said, if you want to do the name separately and attach it to the heart and then just do the stick in the back of the heart, you could totally do that too. I don't have time to do it now, but I could definitely do one like that as well. And that's it for today, guys. <laughs> awesome. So Heather says your letters are great. I'm having difficulty. Yeah, it just takes practice. That's all it takes is practice. I'm going to flip the screen. Now it's dark in here. Ah, good. So that's it, guys. We, we lasted. We did two things. That's amazing. So look out for this week. I'll do some uh, tutorials with uh, uh, like a, a name with a pin in it. And I have a couple of other things up my sleeve. So, and if any of you are left-handed, I just did a video on how to transform any video into a left-handed tutorial. So have a look at that, check it out. And uh, 